Bonsoir, motherfuckers. Welcome to Full Fat Friday. Today we're going to be doing a favorite of mine, steak au poivre. This is one of those badass, like, ace in the hole recipes that you can spring on somebody because it's easy, it has only a few ingredients, it tastes phenomenal, it involves booze, heavy cream, open flame. I mean, where the fuck do you go wrong? Side items involve bacon-wrapped asparagus and smashed garlic potatoes. We're making steak au poivre. A la fucking z. En dance! <laughs> Filet mignon. These are fresh out of the fridge, so we want them to warm up, but while they do, throw on some kosher salt, flip them, and apply. Until your doctor cries. Let these babies sit. Meantime, potatoes. Fill with water. Boil until fork tender. Asparagus. Here's a trick we recently learned from a French chef. Chop off the last inch, take a peeler to the ends, and you avoid that chewy fiber shit. Bacon. If you really want to go fancy schmance, you can use prosciutto, but um, we're going with what we got. Grab a fistful of asparagus. Fuck it up, because you have no idea what the fuck you're doing. Doing good, babe. Oh, thanks. Perfect! You know there was an emperor asparagus? You're lying. Try to impose vegetarianism. Stop that. Got kicked to death by a cow. It's actually kind of <laughs> ironic. <laughs> Boom! And the best part is, I totally didn't go back just now and re-tighten up all the bacon. Let's check on them taters. That's what we want. Right, strain them. Lay them out on a pan. Ideally, you want the potatoes to be somewhere around this size. So uh, we're gonna take some of these bigger dudes, cut them in half. Now that we got them in place, the next step is to take a fork and to smush the fuck out of them. Smush. Smush. See, I would much sooner do this than watch those god-awful fucking dermatology videos everyone seems so fond of. Do you know you missed one? Did I? Oh, it is. <laughs> Get some butter, a couple of cloves of garlic. Two. Kind of. Couple of cloves of garlic. Dead. A couple of cloves of garlic. <laughs> Get that butter nice and melted. Add your completely reasonable amount of garlic. Very reasonable. Throw in a little olive oil, salt, pepper, and apply the garlic butter mixture. You do this with all the delicacy of removing an appendix with a chainsaw. Fuck it. Get the oven going and oven them fucks. For the asparagus, the last of that garlic butter blend, a little bit of olive oil. We can go easy with the oil because that bacon is gonna make a shit ton of grease. And a little bit of Cajun Old Bay. In the oven with you. Now back to those steaks. <laughs> Tablespoon of butter, big old dollop of bacon grease. And while that melts, coat the steaks, and I do mean coat them, in black pepper. If you're thinking to yourself, is that too much pepper? Add more fucking pepper. Flip, and pepper. Oh yeah, here we go. Well, about four or five minutes per side. Third of a cup of brandy. For the flip, I lost a little pepper there, but that's okay. It'll come back. All right, off the fire they come, and strap the fuck in, because now come the pyrotechnics. That was fun. Cup of heavy cream, and that goes. All right, you want to gently stir this, and you want to bring it up to a boil. Let that go for a minute or so, and then bring it down to a simmer. Now, the recipe says to go until the sauce can, quote, coat the back of a spoon. Which to me sounds a little fucking dumb because the heavy cream can coat the back of a spoon straight out of the carton. So I don't know exactly what the fuck they're talking about. So just go until it's thicker than it was when you first poured it in, which is about Two here. Two C's thick. Double C dummy thick. We remember these guys, of course. Got some steak juice. I'm going to work that in first. Reintroduce the steaks. Kill the heat. Just bathe them. You could freeze this shit and make a Ben & Jerry's flavor. Really? Yeah, they can call it something like... Oh, you know what? They could... Infuse it with THC, and I can call it the stakes are high. That's, that's good in Vermont, isn't it? It's, extra, it's the most Vermont fucking ice cream I've ever heard. It had to be grass-fed beef. Grass-fed beef, get it? I hate you. Let's check on those sides. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here twice. If you want to put a little top crisp on them, you can set it for broil for, I don't know, what, less than a minute? Yep. Something like that. But, um, fuck it. We're not doing that. Now that we have a little wine and primo steak in our system, it's time to move on to the part of the evening I like to call dessert. If it does follow me to the bed, wash your hands, keep your distance, cover your mouth. Huge thanks to all the essential workers and watch your mouth.